were inside for most of the show. It's like we have to get Except out here me. on the deck, right? I'm out it's, here in a Kansas know. sweater boiling. <laughs> I know. You know, forecasts are overrated, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, we're out here with Tanya Memi, and she is back. We're going to finish this deck once and for all. She was here to help us put this thing together and get yep. it built. We want to now make sure it lasts for a really, really long time because that's what you do. You put good quality work into stuff like this and money, and you want to stick around for it a does, while. It does, exactly. Right? At least for at least a couple of years until you maybe want to redo it again. So let's go back in time for a little bit and take a look at us putting this uh, deck together, shall you? This because it wasn't it wasn't Take that it up, difficult of a process. Are. Yeah, we just elevated the deck, the the foundation, and we're with the Dean. Yeah, Dean McDermott. Yeah, came he by. was there. He's so great. And remember how cold it was that day? I know. You know not like cold, today. No. Not like today. See how cold. I'm yeah, you layers. were bundled up. But we put the the planks together. Good size deck. Yeah. I forget exactly the square footage this was, but we wanted to go large or go home. We just thought if we're going to have something like this, we have a lot of outdoor Putting time in here in LA and this you know, with our weather. So we wanted to be able to come out here. Yep. And, and, and use it. So how, and it was easier. It was a lot easier than I thought. Too. Yeah, like it it's, was yeah, when you do you something do like too. this. Yeah. All right. So how do we know when it's time for staining? We know we want to do this, but if you have a deck at home, how do we know? What's a, is there a test or anything to know? Like, well, this yep, is it's the thing. You kind of want to do a water test, a, a bead test, and see if it actually. Um, so I'm going to show you right here. Okay. okay. It's a very simple way of doing it. So we have two pieces of wood. One that does need to be resealed. So if you just splatter some water on it, you can even wipe it and see how it just evaporates yeah. so quickly and just soaks right into the wood. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's treated properly and it's not time yet, see how it beads, you can wipe it oh, and it sure. rebeads. That means your deck is still good to go. So what is the same thing we're talking about? We're staining here. What's yeah. the difference between staining and then waterproofing something or sealing it? Well, a stain is actually what it sounds like. It's a stain. You're actually staining okay. color into the wood. So it'll take on the color of whatever whatever color stain you choose to use. So, okay, so and a and sealant is clear. Sealant it's just is just clear. Just, so you're going to preserve the same color yeah. of the wood. You just put something on it so it's going to beat up. Yeah, okay. it really is just personal choice. And you can buy products that have a sealant in it as well as a stain, which I, I like to do that because it just makes it so much easier. So. I just noticed because we are here in the direct sun, when you threw that water on here, it almost evaporated, which made me think, is it there did. a good time of day to do the stain? Well, process? yeah, you matter? don't want to do it in the sun. You don't want to do, do it in the blazing sun. So you kind of want to do it when it's in the shade. Like or, we're doing today. Like we're, we're doing, doing, yes, we're doing hey, it in we're the sun TV. today. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We, we want to do, you know, obviously we want to take care of things. I'm holding the broom. I saw you out here uh, sweeping. Yeah, yeah, I did a pretty good job so, so far. Other than, oh, so, so if I'm sweeping, what are some of the other things that we want to do while we're, we're getting the deck prepped? Well, the first thing you want to do is see how we have plastic covering everything around it, just mm -hmm. so that you don't get the stain in places that you don't want to get it. Along the cement or along the edge, you might want to use some painter's tape. And then you sort of want to nail down on an older deck, there's a few things we don't have to do on this deck because it's still fairly new. It's brand new. Mm -hmm. But if it's a little older, some of the nails might be popping up, so you want to kind of nail them down. You want to smooth it out with a sander, get rid of some of the little, you know, snags or whatever. Make sure it's sure. all smooth and clean. The, the, the main thing is keeping your deck. Or How do we get it clean? Well, a variety of ways. First, sweep it. Sure. Okay, and then you can right use. Now. See right here, we have like, a, we have a deck cleaner. So you can use a deck cleaner. They also have non-toxic versions as well. But you really want to get it clean. You want to get rid of any sap that comes up because it'll affect the sure. the overall stain surface. Especially one that's been around. See, this one's been. Well, this is a new deck, so we don't have a whole lot to yeah, get through. Yeah, we're lucky. But a pressure <laughs> right. washer we used before to and get some of this washer. stuff up. And a pressure washer. Yeah. All right, so we do that. We get it all prepped. Um, get it all prepped. Now that we're set, and the the cleaner, which is is optional, is also a good tool if you've got an old. Deck, is yeah, you, is you only okay. really need this is if it's really dirty and it's set in dirt okay. stains. Okay, I see how we're applying this, but you may want to tell us a little bit about this because this is not just a, well, it's a normal roller, right? Is yes. It? Well, this is a um, this is just a, a paint roller. Okay. Yeah. What, what is the nap on this? The, ah. Oh, I did it! I did it! What is it? That's the second clue word. Now you have both clue words. Uh, you can go off to the website and, and use it. And, and what is the... The nap on this one is a half an inch. Okay. And you don't right. really want to go any bigger than that because you don't want to sop on and get too yucky. But at okay. the same time, you want it to really get absorbed in the And uh, is there anything that we need to know about just uh, applying this particular stain as we're laying it out? Well, you want long, even strokes so that you okay. don't sort of, you know, see how we've, we've done up to here now. And it looks really even. You want uh -huh. it to look even so you don't want to overlap it too much. Okay. So when you're doing this kind of, there is sort of a trick to getting your um, your paint roller sort of saturated in it. You don't want it gooped on, right? right? So you want to make sure when you lift it from the pan, it's not dripping. Okay. Okay, so we'll start over here in the blazing sun, like we in said we wouldn't do. <laughs> okay, and just do long, even strokes and just do maybe two planks at a time. You don't want to do a W formation or whatever because you don't want too much overlapping, right? Sure. Okay. So just stick to these these two. All right. 
and just put it on so that it's nice and even. Here and, we go. And uh, more than one coat needed? Sometimes yes, but Sometimes not necessarily not. you can. Okay. But, but if you are going to do another coat, let it dry at least for a day to two days because you before, really want it dry. Yeah, yeah the, the, the drying time between, between this stuff. And then what should we expect cost-wise for something like this? It's about 20 to $40 a gallon. Okay. Yeah, you can get it at any hardware store too. And it'll last for how long did you say that already and I didn't hear you? It, well, it should last for about two years, but here's the thing. Uh -huh. If you live in like Canada, let's say. Ah, anybody know? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, where it's colder and more wet and this and that, it probably won't last as long. But if you live in Arizona where it's dry, your stain's going to last a lot longer. So you just do the bead test. And that's and when that's you know to, you, you yeah, know, to reapply. To okay, simple. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to join you. We're going to get this done. There's not a whole lot left. Or maybe yeah. I'll just go get us some beverage. And But you you, you need a T-shirt because you're going <laughs> to die. I know, I'm that. boiling. Step-by-step uh, -step <laughs> step instructions on our website, our Home and Family website, which is homeandfamily.com forward slash home and family. And uh, check, be sure you can check out Tanya Memi uh, at, out. on Facebook Yay. Um, as well. So that is uh, facebook.com forward slash Tanya Memi. Yes. All right, stick around. We're back and we have one more tip. You don't go and miss that. All right, we're almost done, Mark. We are. We're I can't believe done. it.